<laughs> we'll make sure the music isn't too loud this time. Oh, if it decides to load. Here we go. All right. All right, all right. Good afternoon to all of you out there joining us. And welcome back to my participants here this afternoon. So we've got a couple of them joining here for our strength and endurance exercises. We have another lively game of Uno going on behind us. So um, we will turn up the music, but we'll continue to also try to make sure that you guys can hear us and see our exercises. So just do your best, follow along. Uh, thank you for joining us. And we will um, continue today with our strength and endurance exercises, right? Straight from the chair. Just as a reminder, everything I offer is a suggestion, right? So make sure you focus on what feels good in your body. Make sure you do what's best for your safety and stability and avoid any pain, okay? So I have a longer quote today, but I kind of like this one. So it says, behind the visible movement, there is another movement. One which cannot be seen, which is very strong, on which the outer movement depends. If this inner movement were not so strong, the outer one would not have any action. And so my opinion is that this is talking about intention, right? Intention, your will, your desire, your ability to motivate. So it's that movement, that energy inside of you that needs to be there, and then hopefully, no sleeping, <laughs> that then translates to the outer movement, right? If you didn't have the energy in the brain and the heart and the body, the physical side wouldn't follow. So when we do these movements, keep that in mind, right? Sometimes the outward movement might not always look how you think it should, or it might not match the other hand, but that's okay. Just continue that inner movement. Continue the energy, continue the intention, and try and pair them together. So I'll go ahead and read it one more time. Behind the visible movement, there is another movement, one which cannot be seen, which is very strong, on which the outer movement depends. In, if this inner movement were not so strong, the outer one would not have any action, right? So we'll continue to move forward with our movement here, our action here, but knowing that it all stems from within, stems from that inner intention, that inner energy, and that inner desire to keep moving forward. All on board? Nice. I'm getting thumbs up. I'm getting head nods. I think they like it. So for those of you, oh, Bill likes it too. I got a thumbs up back there from the Uno game. <laughs> So we'll go ahead, we'll continue to try to do our outer movement here, but know that it starts with the inner movement, all right? So let's go ahead, let's get to our beginning positions here. And we have a new playlist today, the one from yesterday and Monday kind of wore itself thin. Too much Billy Idol for my liking. <laughs> so we're still with some 80s hits, but we'll have that going. We'll kind of keep the, the energy moving right to that inner energy and hopefully the outer energy. So, for those of you at home, make sure that you've got some water nearby. You guys all have some here available to you. If you need a refill, let us know. And then we'll just continue to move as it feels best in our body. Okay? So go ahead, come to the starting position. Have your feet flat. Feel your spine nice and long. Sit up tall. And then as we do with all movements, we'll start with a couple deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. Pull the breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it all out. Good, keep cleansing breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Last one, deep breath in. And a big breath out. Nice job, you guys. All right, we'll go ahead, we will get this playlist going today. And we'll see where it takes me. We've got some 80 jams, so we're gonna see what happens here. All right, go ahead, sit up nice and tall, feel that spine get long, and we'll start with the head here. So drop the chin down, and then lift it up. Drop the chin down, and lift it up. Oh yeah, here we go. Straight up, ladies. Good. You start to get that cervical spine moving, activate the muscles here, feel them engaged. And again, make sure 
where you're going at your pace. If you need to speed it up or slow it down, feel free to modify. And of course, if you just want to stop exercising and start dancing, we will not oppose that. <laughs> Yeah. 
your tailbone, curl into the back of your head, and relax. Now you strengthen each all of your back extensors here, and relax. Nice job, you guys. Keep it going. You might feel a stretch in the front of your body, that's okay. Just continue activating your core here on the back side. Nice work, you guys. Keep the breath moving. Good. Feel those elbows pull together. Relax. I feel like I just want to start marching in this one. <laughs> Should I just go into the socks? <laughs> We can do both. Uh, we'll just start off I guess. Nice, you guys. Alright, I'm down at counting, so let's do one more. Pull it in and do those muscles activate. And relax. Oh. How are we doing? Good. Got everything warmed up, got the spine warmed up, feel the blood flowing. Right? Like you're getting a little warmer already. That's all okay. For those of you at home, though, make sure you're monitoring heart rate, breath, just making sure that you're feeling okay. <laughs> exactly, guys. All right, let's go ahead and take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Good. Now we can also take a sip of water here. This will be our little break. So go ahead, take the water that you need. Nice, you guys. 
the breath slowly, right? Ooh, what do you say? If you're not breathing, you're not going to get very far. <laughs> you don't have a breath, you don't have much. Good. Keep those hands moving. Feel those muscles activating. And that's just to show the folks at home. But we'll continue to demonstrate to you guys as well. So this first one is going to be palm down for pronation, palm up for supination. Yep, so if you're doing just one hand, you're going to rotate like this. Now you do have the option of both hands, right? So maybe going side to side. Mm -hmm. Yep, and maybe Marvin, right, you're going to pull this forward and then rotate it back. Good. Oh, you guys, do we have Eye of the Tiger? I'm about to have flashbacks to soccer practice. Our coach used to drive alongside of us while we were running and blast us. We weren't a fan of it at the time. <laughs> there we go. So for those of you at home, same options, right? You can take your fingers in between or cupped, or you can use one hand to assist. Oh, I was just telling them, you keep doing the same thing. Sorry, I got to talk to you guys and to the computer. <laughs> We're multitasking over here. And they have a rousing game of Uno going on, so... <laughs> A lot of things going on here. A lot of excitement over here at Easter Seals. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, try to keep getting that muscle activated and engaged. Yep, so if you're here, maybe even... Nice. Perfect. There you go. That's good rotation. Does that feel okay? Good. Yeah, so just keep in mind that everyone's going to be a little different, right? So it all presents a little differently, and that's okay. Nice. All right. One more each side. And let's shake it out. Whew. Go ahead. You can kind of rub. Yeah. If you want, give that little muscle a massage. Right? So creating a little heat, giving it a little rub here, right? Just trying to loosen it up a smidge. Good. Does that feel okay? Yeah. All right. My elbow. Oh, <laughs> you're allowed to have an itchy elbow. You should scratch it. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to move on. We're going to focus on wrist flexion and extension. Yep. Flexion and extension. So now if you're doing it with two hands, if you can get one hand in the other, you can just try. Or where you're at, maybe here, right? Whatever feels best for you, Marvin, okay? There you go, perfect. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever showed anyone that option. So for those of you at home, if your hand is a little tighter, right? You can pull open and then curl. Pull open and curl. Josh, now he's too early this time. <laughs> Good. So just keep going back and forth. Open and close. Good. There you go. Nice job, Marvin. Good. So wherever you're at, focus on the wrist here. Get those muscles moving back and forth. 
and just moving within the range that feels best for you, right? Maybe it's a little shorter on one side than it is the other. You guys doing good? All right. Nice. All right, Josh. See you tomorrow? All right. You're doing good, brother. We'll see you tomorrow. Alright. Bye. Stay, stay out of trouble. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to rope you into exercises. How about that? You going to do exercises tomorrow? Okay, cool. All right, we've been doing this for a long time. We can shake it out. Sorry. <laughs> I got sidetracked. So for those of you that are with us at home, thanks for sticking along. Go ahead. You can rub out the wrist. Just massage the wrist. Yeah, give it a little love. Good. Okay, so this next one, it's a little harder because everyone does it a little differently. So the goal here is to pull your fingers in towards one another and then open, right? Finger pads in and open, finger pads in and open, finger pads in and open, right? So you can do it with that hand or if you're working the other hand, you can pull that in and then open. Right? So whatever you want to do, right? Whatever feels good. You can just do this hand. Or, yeah. Oh my goodness, what is going on? All these phone calls. I don't even have this many friends and they're all calling right now. <laughs> Leave me alone. We're trying to do exercises and listen to music. Good. There you go. Yep, just keep it in order. So for those of you at home, really feel those fingers come together, actively engage as you push your finger pads in towards one another. Good. How's that feel, Rich? Does it hurt a lot? So just go a little gentler, right? If you have any kind of arthritis in your hand, just take it easy, right? Yeah, just take it gentle on the left side then. Good. But you still, gentle movement is good for that, right? It's a fine balance of working it, but not causing too much pain. Right? <laughs> good. Nice, Lou. Yep. Another option, if your hand isn't opening all the way, if that's not available to you, you can just try and work here at the fingers. Right? Good. Nice, you guys. Good. I know it's a little tougher when the hand's tight. It's tougher when the hand is tight. Yeah, yeah, totally. But that's okay. So if you're if you're down here with your hands close, you can just still work on pushing them together and then opening them. Yep, just like that. Yeah. Perfect. Nice job, you guys. All right, let's shake that one out. You can kind of massage the hands if you want, rub them out, give them a little heat. Yeah, especially if you have the arthritis too, just be gentle on that massage. Good. All right, you guys, moving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so just be gentle with it. No need to force any of it, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, the next one, the last one for the hands and fingers is going to be fists. And then open. Fists and open. And again, a couple options. If you're able to get those hands in between each other, squeeze, maybe open. Squeeze and open. Or pull everything in and then try to open up. Good. Pull everything in, open up. Nice, Marvin. Good. A lot of different, yep. A lot of different modifications over here. Oh man, I love this song. Anyone else? I got my jazz hands going. 
Good. Nice, Rich. All right, let's do one more. Open wide, close tight, and then open and release. Huh. Rub it out a little, give them a rest. Woo. How are we doing? Good. All right, I'm gonna head back to the starting position. We'll take a breath to reset. You can take a sip of water if you want. Make sure you stay hydrated. Water. Yep. Can you get on water, Luke? Okay. You okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go. Go ahead. Let's take a breath for reset. Inhale through the nose. Then exhale, let it out. Nice. All right. Four and legs. Four and legs. So throughout all of these, you want to keep your core nice and active. Feel your belly button pull in a little bit. Keep your spine long. And the first one we're going to do is legs. So straightening one leg out and then lowering. Straightening the next leg out and lowering. Good. So we're engaging the quads here. Activating them as you extend the legs in front. Nice. And know that this thing is just going to get more that might look really different side to side, right? One leg might, it's going to look different side to side. One leg is going to get really straight, and the other might just come up off the ground. Good. Nice job, you guys. Now, the idea here is to keep your spine up and lifted if possible, but you always can use the support of the chin, right? And if you are leaning back a little, keep that puppy tight. Yep. Kind of pull it in, feel that belly button. Oh, look who's tipping again during four. I mean, what a slacker. Or, we got to jump the stage over there with water. <laughs> Good to see you, sir. All right, ladies. You hang in there. I'm going to look into the video from yesterday, too. See what we caught on with this one. Okay. Or, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, two days ago. We might have to try and send it to you in a different way. But I'll keep you posted. I'll check it out. Okay. Go ahead when you're ready, straighten it out again, and then go the other way. 
head, take a breath for your step. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale. Good. Go ahead, take a sip. We'll reset here. I can 
take my mask off while I'm sitting there. Um, hello. How are you? Good. All right. That's good. You feel comfortable? If you even want to go further back, you can, but we're about six feet away, so. No. All right, so we're going to do mouth exercises. So I'm going to take my mask off, but you guys just stay far enough away from me, okay? All right, so the first thing that we're going to do, and for those of you at home as well, we're just going to massage into the cheeks. Good. Yep. Getting the muscles, loosen up around the jaw. Right into the cheeks here. Just like you would a neck or a back massage, right? You gotta work out the tense muscles of the jaw. Feels good sometimes. Okay, the first one, we're just gonna open our mouth as wide as we can. And then close. Open wide. And close. I know, the mask doesn't make it easy. Good. Can you feel where your jaw's opening? There's no pain, is there? Good. Uh-huh. Nice job, you guys. <laughs> Richard's got some eye motions going. We were doing this with Michael last week, and he was like, Uh. All right, nice job. Go ahead, feel free to massage that out a little bit. <sighs> nice. All right, the next one, we're going to smile. Look at that, pearly whites, even behind the masks. I can tell your eyes are smiling. Good. Feel all those muscles fall back, and then relax. <laughs> Good. Nice job. Feel the corners of the mouth pull into the cheeks, and relax. So good. One more big one, and relax. <sighs> Again, feel free to kind of massage it in between. But the next one we're going to do is um, switch between smiling and then puckering. Smile and then pucker. Pull those muscles back and then push them forward. Smile and push. You look so sad when you're puckering. <laughs> Smile and pucker. Who won the game? You won? Look at that. Just Uno champions of the world. Smile, pucker. Smile, pucker. Nice, keep it going. Good. Smile. And last one. Big pucker. Nice job, you guys. You're doing so, so good. Um, okay, the next one I'll explain and then I'll show you. So we're going to seal our lips nice and tight and then we'll fill our cheeks with air like a blowfish and we're going to push the air side to side. So it goes. Use your hand though to push the air. Can you use your hand? Use your hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. And we're just trying to change the pressure in our mouth while keeping those lips sealed. Mm-hmm. Nice. If a little air comes out, that's okay. Try to reseal those lips and do it one more time. Mm 
<laughs> nice, perfect. How you guys doing? If you need to at any point, take a sip of water. Okay, this next one, lip smacks. So seal those lips together and then pop. <laughs> yeah, that one might be a little hard. You can pull it out a little bit if you want to. Try and feel those lips pull away from each other. There you go, good. Mm -hmm. Good. And then like popcorn over here. Nice, Marvin. Good. Yes, perfect. Yes. We got it. Although I can never keep a straight face during that one. All right, one more from each of you. Good, I heard both of you, so, so good. For those of you at home, thank you for sticking with us. We are down to about four more, okay? So the next two are both with the tongue. We're gonna open the mouth and take the tongue side to side. So the goal here is to keep it slow and controlled as we go to one corner of the mouth to the other. Uh -huh. Good. Now if you can, speed it up, but you want to keep that tongue nice and controlled. <laughs> All right, we will go to the next one, which is tongue up and then tongue down. Yeah. I don't think we can, can you touch your nose with your tongue? <laughs> I can't either. I have a short little tongue and a short little nose. I think my nose is wider than it is long. Nice job. All right, you guys. Last two. This next one's always the toughest. Bite your tongue in between your teeth and then swallow. I know, this one's tough. Mm -hmm. Good. This one can definitely be really hard, so feel free to take another sip of the water if you need. Your mouth can dry out a little bit with this one. Or feel free to give yourself just a little bit of break here and then restart. So you're keeping your tongue clamped in your teeth while you swallow. One more. Ah, that one's tough. <laughs> I don't like that one. <laughs> Oh, I think it's speech therapy. <laughs> All right, last one we're going to do. We're almost there. A big frown. <laughs> your eyes match your frown. <laughs> and then swallow. So a big frown. And then swallow. Good. Frown. And swallow. Yep, you can use your fingers here just to kind of draw it down. Mm -hmm. All right, last one. Big frown and swallow. Oh, and we're done. <laughs> nice job, you guys. You did really good. Way to hang in there. Let's go ahead and finish off 
like we always do with a couple breaths. So inhale, pull the breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice deep cleansing breath in. Exhale, let it go. Last one, big breath in and a big breath out. Nice job, you guys. Oh my goodness, now who's calling me? My word, all these phone calls. I just am very popular today. Okay, go ahead, have a sip of water. You guys did so, so awesome. Thank you for hanging in there with me. For those of you at home, thank you guys so much for continuing to participate and continue to join with us. We love connecting with you. We will be back again tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for our mindfulness, and then we'll have another class at 1.30, our rehabilitative strengthening. Hopefully we see you at one of those. Either way, have a wonderful rest of your day, and take care. Thanks.